I'm Patrick from Econet Controls, and today we're going to configure a home seer hub to respond to a leak event by turning off the water main. To start, point a browser to your home seer. Find your home seer by going to www.findhomeseer.com and clicking the search button. The link to your hub will appear below. To pair the Econet Valve robot, navigate to Controller Management and find the Remove Exclude Node dropdown. Click the Start button and then press the button on the Valve robot rapidly five times. Click the Close button when the operation is complete. Click the dropdown again and select Add Include a node. Click the Start button and press the button on the valve robot rapidly five times. When the pairing operation is finished, click the close button. From the home page, select check all to show the new device in the list. Navigate back to the controller management page and select the Remove Exclude drop-down. Click the Start button and press the button on the Everspring sensor five times. Click the Close button when the operation is done. Select the drop-down again and select Add Include a node. Click the Start button and press the button on the Everspring sensor five times. When the pairing is finished, click the Close button. Then, navigate back to the home page and update the display to include the new Everspring in the device list. Navigate to the Events page and select New Group. We'll call the new group Leaks. In the new group, we'll call the new event Leak. The condition for this new event will be, if this device changes and becomes, and the device will be Node 3 Z-Wave Water Leak Alarm changes and becomes Alarm. Then, we want to control a device, which will be the Equinet Valve Robot. And then, we want the Valve Robot to turn on, which turns off the water main. Now we'll navigate to the log page and watch what happens when the sensor detects water. As soon as the Everspring alarm is set, the leak event is triggered and the valve robot closes the water main. Check back frequently on the Econet YouTube channel for more home automation tips and tricks. Happy automating!